I'm going to cut to chase this Neon Apex and welcome to uh, a not regular video, that's for sure. We got a Q&A today, and I got my boy Mike with me. Yo. You guys might be surprised to see him, but, uh, you know, he, he found some time, so we're going to do this Q&A together. While that's going on, I'm going to be playing around inside the sandbox because I never got to do this. Go ahead and start us off with the first one, bro. It's from MC11 Mix 7. All right. First question. What did you think of the ending? Oh, bro. I don't, I have no clue what to think about the ending. Like, Mike, you ain't seen the ending right yet. Nah, you ain't seen nah, the ending nah, yet. Really. Bro, nah. it, it was, it was an ending, that's for sure. Uh, it was crazy like that. Bro, it, it, it's really crazy, bro. <laughs> it will make you question like everything that happened inside the game once you see that ending, mate. It's like a plot flip. I mean, what is it? it it's uh, like plot yeah. twist. Like, I don't, mm, I don't know if I would call it yeah. that or, or what. Uh, like for for the most part with the ending it's it's all purely like speculation to be honest ending it in that fashion was the right thing to do because there's no other thing that kind of like alludes to the story unless like you're specifically going out like and trying to find pieces of the story well e even if you do get all of the pearls and stuff and you know what's going on like there's no guarantee that you're going to know exactly what you know the ending is and I'm being vague here on purpose because Mike hasn't seen the ending, but yeah. What do you think the ending means? Any other theories you came up with? My idea was pretty much when we reached that that end, when we reached the ending, and I'm still mm -hmm. going to be vague because Mike has <laughs> not seen it yet. When we reached that ending and did what we did, I feel like our spirit somehow passed on and all of the other ones that we saw inside of there with us were probably passing on too and if that's not the case then it was probably like reaching a higher plane or a higher state of mind like one that is far beyond any realm or anything that was going on inside of the center story and stuff like that what is your favorite region my favorite region favorite region of all industrial complex part of me wants to say industrial complex right mm -hmm. because i kept coming back to that region because it felt familiar to me to be completely honest i don't i don't know no nah, I, I i say i say industrial complex probably was my favorite one all right what is your Bruh. least favorite region least favorite region see for me like least favorite region can, mm -hmm. is not specifically because like i died the most inside of this region or because too much was going on inside this region or anything to do with, I guess like the enemies and all of that type of stuff. Dang, I, I, don't, I don't know. Probably Shaded Citadel. Like I said before, I got pretty poor vision. So when we go inside the darkness and stuff, I got to rely on my ears a lot more. And like, I'm really good at like perceiving like motion inside of dark, like with sound. Mm -hmm. So when like i hear scurrying and stuff like that it's really really itchy and eerie and that type of feeling is what shaded citadel accomplishes like really really well <laughs> but i would say for that reason shaded citadel is my least favorite region at least to traverse to traverse shaded citadel is probably my least favorite and i'm assuming all these questions are about uh rain well yeah um, yeah uh well what which region to you is the most visually striking? Oh, are we talking about looks? I, I feel like I gotta go with either subterranean or, well, nah, nah, nah. I'm gonna say uh, Five Pebbles. Five Pebbles was definitely the most eye candy for me because mm -hmm. subterranean in terms of light coming in and all of the like shadows cast, the different enemies kind of made different stuff pop so like seeing the sandy gators inside of subterranean where their colors st stood out amidst the like the dark backgrounds that was something that i really really enjoyed looking at mm -hmm. so 
it, most of the videos where we inside subterranean i'm constantly talking about sandy because his color stands out like in subterranean and it, it makes the region you know kind of pop a little bit more or it makes like you know him pop a little bit more but bro five pebbles was just so appealing to me because i was super fascinated with computers and when i realized that oh this is a motherboard oh this is a power cell and stuff like that yo nah mm. that was hands down like one of my favorite parts of the playthrough next question do you have a favorite enemy we're talking about just enemies in general yeah i don't i don't i can't really choose because there's two that I, the two that i like the most are the gators and the demons those are the two that i like the most but necessarily when you look at it sometimes the gators and demons like aren't really enemies because you can friend them and stuff I like bet. that Oh, yeah. yeah if i had to choose between the two i'm gonna go for the demons just because of that eye shock thing they do it's it's really really funny to see their eyes like pop i'm surprised you didn't say those them big flying things what them vulture looking things yeah no i hate the I'm vultures bro. <laughs> yeah. it's kind of the same question but it's like is there an enemy that is your least favorite I guess vultures kind of the same. either okay. vultures or the blue spaghetti uh thing and it's not because like the way they look or anything it's it's literally mm -hmm. just because uh there's some scenarios that you get into uh where it's super hard to uh, avoid them i like that they're there but mm -hmm. as an enemy and coming after me and stuff like that i i don't like them for that reason but i in terms yeah. of them just being an enemy in general something that you have to face inside the game i think it was an amazing addition which enemy do you think has the most unique design oh most unique mm -hmm. as far as design if we're talking about like basic features and not you know the different variations and stuff that they can have we're just talking about basic design mm -hmm. i would say the demons do the but demons. if we're talking about all the different variants and stuff like that i'm definitely going for the gators because there's so many like different things that happen to their body different features that they have like some some of them can have like little pointy frills or there was that gator that i saw that looked like it had dreads those type of things like kind of made me think oh this enemy probably has some different type of behavior even though they were the same color and i feel like for that reason they have the most unique design there was no other enemy that kind of like made me feel that way what species of gator is your favorite oh species which one is my favorite i think i'm going to go for good old sandy but if we if we're talking about looks like favorite based on looks i just really like the blue the blue the blue is just really really nice looking what species of gator is your least favorite least for right now my least favorite gator is probably the green ones because most of the time well no i would say the invisible ones because i sometimes i don't be seeing them and then they pop out of nowhere and then they take me and then i'm gone and then there was that one episode inside uh chimney canopy where i kept getting ate by the same gator over and over again and for that reason he my least favorite and it's on site <laughs> yeah <laughs> are you prepared to encounter more cyan lizards than just the one you found at the wall during nighttime bro i completely forgot about the cyan nah the cyan one is my favorite because he did that little booster thing and, and that bro that was mm -hmm. the most scared i had been facing any enemy inside of this game that was the most scared i had had ever been because he showed up inside of the dark he boosted and he was faster than me through the tunnels he was faster than me on the poles he was faster than me everywhere else and i was just now learning acrobatics at the time so he was more acrobatic than me too there was no it to me there was no way that i could outmaneuver him to like any degree if i was facing him it was either get out the way or die and i didn't die to a cyan lizard like at any point inside the series but i was always scared that i would have to face one later on like when we got to the darker regions i was pretty sure he'd be inside there and i'd die several times to him am i prepared to face more cyan lizards i have no clue because i don't know if like they're going to be like out in the open i know with the rocks and spears i could probably like get shifty or something like that but it's going to be really hard to do are you mentally prepared to encounter a real red lizard and not the purple imposter bro 
I thought for certain that that freaking oh, yeah. purple lizard that I saw was a. Did did you? Well, were you inside of that episode? Well, yeah, yeah, I think you were. Do you remember that one? There was a red lizard. He was like the color red, but apparently he classified like as a purple one because the the range of like purple is just like so vast inside of this. And I thought he was a red one, and I was I was kind of scared because apparently the red ones are supposed to be like really really strong he showed up I was, I was like super nervous i don't know if i'm prepared to face a real red one or not after seeing what the cyan one can do and then you guys are saying the red one's worse than that bro i have no clue i guess we'll just have to see are you open to the idea of the existence of centipedes that are worse than thirty thousand volts bro no no <laughs> Heck no. I know for a fact I heard a couple people say that oh there's there's centipedes that that's worse than the green one that you saw. There's centipedes that's worse than those big orange ones that you saw. But no, I do not want to see any centipedes that are worse than those. <laughs> <laughs> Heck no. I don't want to see it, man. What was the craziest interaction with multiple enemies that you remember? Oh my gosh. I was swimming inside of the, the big, like, ocean or, or lake thing right there where the where the big snake fish thing lives and a vulture pulled up on me and i was finessing him like crazy i rode on his back speared him a couple of times and then another vulture came and then i was finessing him too two vultures was nothing to me i had like you know i had fought two before and then three came and then once three came and water was like in this scenario and you guys know how i feel about water i was like you know what you guys can just have the kill because i'm not about to sit here and fight three vultures <laughs> while there's water up under me and all of this crazy mess is going on so i was like nah just just have it just have it just have the kill oh god I think Vulture was crazy. Bro, it, it was insane. What caused you to originally call the scavengers demons? Was it their design that caused you to immediately think of a demon? Yeah, I, I would say it's definitely their design. The the little horns that they have on their head and like how some of them can be kind of spiky. Mm -hmm. And then what kind of confirmed uh it to me was when i went to shaded citadel and they were carrying the red lanterns that red glow immediately makes me associate like with some type of evil spirit or something like that for the time being i probably will continue to call them demons <laughs> just because it's, i don't know it's a pretty funny name so they're not really called demons nah they're called scavengers okay what was your favorite interaction with the scavengers that was the next question. Bro, my favorite interaction was the scavengers. I know I, I was talking like really, really goofy and stuff when they were coming inside of my shelter. And it was Ooh. like, it was like five of them in there and I couldn't move and do anything. That was absolutely hilarious to me. That that has to be my favorite interaction with the scavengers hands down. At what point in this series do you think the scavengers got on your nerves the most? I don't think they actually like mess with me too much. There was one yeah. time, well, if we're being completely honest, I've only died to the scavengers twice. There was one mm -hmm. time I got speared for no reason in a corner when I was trying to pick up some food inside of industrial complex one time and then the second time I think I was moving through an area with a uh, pickle and mm -hmm. um I got speared from long range and and he wasn't even trying to hit me that's that was the two times that I got uh, killed by a scavenger and to be honest with you they didn't really mess with me uh, any other time even uh, before I had like that reputation super high I guess in the beginning I was kind of trying to avoid them anyway just out of fear you know what do you think about the official name daddy long legs oh for uh for the blue bear guys mm -hmm. i feel like it it kind of makes sense because when you think about a a daddy a daddy long leg spider in real life they're mm -hmm. they're blind they can't see anything if you um if you read about them and stuff like that, you know that they're actually pretty poisonous, but the reason they don't bite is because they can't see. 
and I feel like that kind of makes a lot of sense for the little spaghetti monster things. What do you consider the most frustrating moment in your entire playthrough? Well, most of the time when I get like frustrated with a game, it's more or less frustrated with myself than it is with the game. But if we're talking about like from a situation, I would say the either the moose Uber service and then I would say the blue grass kind of got frustrating at one point. Mm -hmm. If we're talking about like just mainly just me getting kind of like frustrated in general i kept getting frustrated at myself uh during shaded citadel because i couldn't build up the courage to just walk through the dark like i kept thinking about like what could be inside of there because i couldn't see i could only hear them but yeah i would say that's probably my most uh frustrated moment what do you think echoes the blind and gold Pentacle being surrounded by a blue aura that raise your karma are. Oh, like the 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 little I think I know what he's talking about. I don't I don't really know. I feel like they were probably either creatures or something that was there before. Maybe like higher beings that were there before and it's like essence of their soul that are still there. And they're kind of like, I don't know, there's something preventing them from moving on, whatever it is. And so they just sit there and give advice to anybody who passes through. But yeah, that's what I, I feel like they are. Which music soundtrack is your favorite? Oh, dang favorite oh my gosh i've been listening to them like wow this has been going on man. and i still like can't fully decide favorite i really really liked uh i think it was called stoneheads uh the one to go doom 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 but whenever that thing came on like you guys can't see it because I don't I don't have a, a face cam or anything to uh, use. Mm -hmm. But I, I bob my shoulders every single time that theme comes on, and uh, I even talked to Mike about like mixing it or so or doing something with it. But yeah, I think that's definitely one of my favorites, at least off the top of my head. What do you think is your best? freestyle rap oh best freestyle i would have to go back and listen to them again but mm -hmm. there was one where i was uh talking about like uh centipede has like a really really hard track or something like that and i think i was in industrial i feel like mm -hmm. that one was pretty good and then the other one that i would say was pretty solid was when um i think i was in shaded citadel but I was inside of like kind of like the top part and I just start randomly freestyling because that's something that I do uh, when I play uh, games and stuff like that. I don't know if I did one for when Collard Greens' is, uh, theme came on. Mm -hmm. And I uh, still don't really know the name of that thing, by the way. <laughs> but uh, if, if I did freestyle to that, then that one's probably good too because I, I remember liking that beat too, but I don't remember what what the name of it was what was your favorite moment when playing by yourself favorite moment when playing by myself probably exploring the inside of pebbles oh wait no getting to the top of the wall that was that was a lot of fun for me it was fun because the the enemies inside of the wall like the orange gators i, I knew nothing about them I was kind of like figuring them out still. I was slowly starting to learn more acrobatic techniques. And then there was that there was that part where I sat at the top of the wall, just practicing with the pebble to try and do a backflip spear into the ground. I, I think that was like really, really like a moment that I just will remember inside of my head. What was your favorite moment when playing with your friends? Oh, when the crew was here? Bro, mm -hmm. it it has to be whenever like we, we get inside like an argument or something about stuff when when first coming out of the shelter and then also me and pickle so like i believe he was green at the time being and we were in the garbage waste but a vulture came and and picked me up as soon as i got out of water i started screaming or something like that we were just having a fun time laughing that entire uh playthrough but yeah which video in the series do you consider your best work oh best uh see because the thing is with my videos i feel like as long as i'm continuing to make videos i'm continuing to learn stuff i'm yeah, continuing no to progress and no i don't know it's kind of hard to say it definitely has to be like one of the ones that is like later on inside the series i wouldn't say like in the start well i don't know the first mm -hmm. the first one 
like I would say was pretty solid because there's this edit where um that I keep remembering inside my head where I I see the green gator and the magenta one fighting and then I say the green one won that's because he's toxic and then I do like this flash edit I think that that was a really good edit so I was I was really really learning like what I wanted to do and what my editing style was at that point so I would say that's some of my best work we're talking about what wasn't the best i don't know probably when i got my first to subterranean or um or maybe when i got stuck inside farmer rays for a little bit i got stuck at the same place for a while and i wouldn't say it's my my uh worst work because anything was innately wrong with the video or anything like that i would say oh, yeah the reason why it's probably my worst is because whenever i don't put my i guess you could say like my best foot forward or something inside a video i kind of like feel that or i feel like uh, i could have added more inside the video like i really really started to think about it like a whole ton and i feel like i didn't put as many like edits and stuff inside some of the videos and i was stuck inside farmer rays or um i think when i i was exploring shoreline i think those uh two parts was probably like the times when like i probably could have tried harder so the videos mm -hmm. probably aren't as uh good as they could have been all right what do you think the first five karma symbols mean oh so like the first uh the ones when you sleep and they go up i feel like the last one that looks like kind of like a like a shack with like the hut thing i feel mm -hmm. like that one is definitely survivor at least i feel like it has to be because you get you know the survivor achievement for doing that but if it's not then i'm not sure i feel like the first the first two probably have something to do with persistence or i bro i have no clue i would say there's no other thoughts that i can uh, really give about that because even inside of the beginning i was saying like if that was some type of kanji which kanji i believe is like japanese symbols that can mean words and stuff like that mm -hmm. uh then i don't understand kanji yeah i feel like they have to do it either like persistence uh surviving i don't know maybe some deeper meaning like dream or something like that but yeah yeah. What do you think the overall story regarding local affairs between Five Pebbles, Look to the Moon, and, and any other is about? Oh, the overall story? I mm -hmm. feel like for certain, because we eventually like kind of pieced this together, um, Pebbles and Moon probably came here to find out uh, how to make the creatures inside of this wildlife move on so like i actually die and pass on but something went wrong because when pebbles and moon were put too close together something happened which caused pebbles to go go mad i feel maybe he was frustrated with himself because he couldn't find out a a solution to like what was going on i don't know maybe it was just you know living for all of those years but yeah i feel like something really really got to him that's what uh pebbles and moons is situation in terms of like the other iterators i feel like they're probably just frustrated because they can't move on and you know they were given such a big responsibility they're probably just frustrated because of that even when like you talk to managers and stuff in real life some people don't even want to be managers because managing people is kind of the same way like trying to find a solution to a problem that like mm -hmm. persists but yeah did you know that there's a canonical timeline for where each slug cat slug cat takes place uh i did not know that until someone told me but i do know now but in terms of the order and stuff like that i think they mm -hmm. just go from left to right but I could be wrong. Are you going to start a Hunter campaign or start a DLC campaign? If you are planning to start a DLC, which character? Then it says, if you're planning to start with Hunter, there's something important you need to know. And that's how he said I want to do a vote. And you guys have probably heard this several times, but I want to do a vote for the next character. Because there's some people that believe that I should start in, in order because it makes the story make a little bit of sense, yeah. excuse me. But um, there's others who believe that um, 
continuing from where I was and going straight to Hunter is probably too big of a jump and um, like might cause some some kind of like conflict or anything or something because it's it's kind of like a big difficulty jump like it, it kind of like doesn't really matter like which one i start off with to me yeah. because i'm i'm just ready to like do some more playing you know <laughs> no cap i feel that could you believe that you were able you were actually able to make it to the ending within my two to three video prediction oh uh yeah I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh <-huh. laughs> I don't know. But around the end of, of the game, I started to become so comfortable with what was mm. going on inside of each scenario that I was not bothered at all when I, I was faced with the enemy that I would thought was stronger and uh, I wasn't super worried about about dying or anything because I knew that I could get back there easily and then yeah. I knew like the acrobatic movements and stuff like that I knew for a fact that I was going to like breeze through some of the next areas just because I had picked on uh, picked up on a lot more and then uh, once I tamed Sandy, uh, my gator, once I tamed Sandy, I, I knew for certain that the region was probably going to be quite a bit easier. If not because I had Sandy with me, probably because like I just understood like the gators and stuff a lot more. What was your favorite pearl? This this the same person? No, nah, this is a different person. Who is this? Uh, Rodron. R. Uh, R O D Rod who? Rod Rod Rigoffs. Yeah, Is that yeah, how you yeah, say yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. Rod Rod Rigoffs. Like, <laughs> <that was nice. laughs> Alright, favorite pearl. Uh you know what? Let's let's go back and uh look at the pearl stuff. I would say because we we only collected four pearls so far. I would mm -hmm. say in terms of lore, my favorite one was probably the first one that I took to Moon, which was the yellow one. And that's because it felt like I was finally starting to piece together some of the story. And I found out that oh, there's more than just you know moon and pebbles that was kind of like a, a shocker to me but if we're talking about just like something that really like like pulled me in or interests me probably the the dark blue and uh pink one dark dark blue and dark pink ones uh just because hearing them like interact with each other was really really cool and then I feel like the dark pink one probably had something to do with pebble snapping, which was really, really uh interesting to see. Same person. He said, what creature do you have the most fun invading? Evading. Oh, what creature do I have the most fun evading? Oh, this stone here is right here. <laughs> I like when there's like a ton of enemies that can can crawl and stuff on mm -hmm. the walls and 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 move kind of fast when like that type of rapid motion happens and i can get away that is really really like real inducing to me because it kind of proves that oh yeah i am kind of getting better at this and i feel like that's probably why uh evading probably the blue gators the white ones are probably the most fun for me next question would you drink pepsi if it was made of void fluid there is this this is an unpopular opinion there is so many things that are inside of products that we use that we do not think about Man. and as long as as long as there is no bodily harm that is coming of like these things that we use then i don't see any reason why a Pepsi that's made from vo void fluid is it, 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 mm -hmm. not causing any harm to my body. As long as it's not causing any harm to my body, I would drink it. And that's just me, as long as it tasted good. <laughs> well, how about you, Mike? What do you think? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I agree with you on that. And like, just soda, even some juice like that we buy from the store, bro. It's stuff in there that we do not think about or like, oh, we drinking this, there's nothing really bad going on to us after drinking it, but in all reality, if you look at the ingredients and like the different stuff 
Oh, it, it could be like long term doing damage on you know your insides. Yeah. Especially like soda, bro. That's why I, I don't know. But as long as it ain't nothing crazy, that's gonna like. As soon as you drink it, your whole body shut down. No, no sir. No, yeah. sir. One more question from him. He said, if you had to choose between unfortunate development and left farm a race, which would you choose? The left side of farm race. So this is to me this is a question um that pretty much narrows down to zero gravity and the blueberry spaghetti monsters or having to deal with the moose uber service and the and the wiggly uh blue grass and if i had to choose a scenario that i would rather go through to be honest going through zero gravity was not that bad i thought i learned like what to do because i thought i kind of learned how to motion and stuff work it was really really easy for me to navigate that place i'm not gonna lie but i really really like uh messing around with the mooses just because they do really really goofy things so yeah i would say farmer race probably do you enjoy games slash movies with twisted this um, this is somebody um, new yeah this is somebody different who is that yeah um, last thing last thing <laughs> yes sir <laughs> <laughs> Do I enjoy movies or games with twist timeline? Uh-huh. Oh, I'm not finished. Which oh. play some mind tricks to create these moments when dots connect in your head and enlighten you with a story piece you missed? Or do you prefer a straight storyline which makes sense all the time and feels comfortable to follow around? Bro, I, I really like both styles. Mm -hmm. but if i were yeah. to choose one the one that like tends to be most compelling is probably one with the twist because then that way once you put the pieces together it's like really really like enlightening like oh that's what's happening so when for example when i was exploring five pebbles it was really really exciting to see that oh he's like a big computer person you know mm -hmm. and i feel like if i kind of knew it was kind of leading up to him being a computer person from the start i i don't know like how i would have really like felt like going up there i probably would have been like oh i don't know it probably would have shocked me a little bit still to kind of like come to the realization but yeah i feel like either way it's it's like pretty good uh storytelling either way yeah yeah i agree next we got a whole new person it's from eli snyder and All right. First question, it don't make sense, but it says, why did you the slug cat? I did not the slug cat. Right. You you the slug cat. That must be something I haven't seen yet, because I ain't know what was there. <laughs> <laughs> the allegations are not true, Mike. I am not the slug cat. I did not no, the slug was, cat. The thing that we playing as, I thought that was a slug cat. You dare put my order in question? Is it? I mean, no, it's not. I mean, I don't know. I mean, yeah, that's what I call it, slug cat. That's what uh, everybody else calls it. Look at. What do you mean by that question, though? What do you think you mean by that question? I don't you think know. I know? No, no. <laughs> I don't know. Next question, same dude. All right. Do you have any regrets from the playthrough? Yeah, I regret uh, not finding out how to tame a gator early on because to me that could have been a big game changer and it probably would have been a lot more fun to like travel through the regions if I had something that was there to protect me and watch after me. There probably would have been more of an emotional bond and stuff like that. Another one would probably be not getting as many pearls, but it felt like I was kind of like drawing out some of the some of the episodes some of the videos and stuff and i know some of you guys say like it's fine when i do that but i don't know it, it kind of it, it makes me feel like kind of like some type of way like when uh something like that happens and i know i could edit the entire thing out but then mm -hmm. that's less time i could spend you know recording the next video for you guys to enjoy it okay. last question how confused were you at the ending oh very very confused extremely confused but <laughs> 
my mind was kind of piecing together like what could happen what might happen and and all of those things so i feel like that made me kind of feel a little more like comfortable but I, I was pretty confused i was very confused that's that's another reason why like i wasn't i would say in terms of how the end ended i wasn't really saying as much as i would have been saying in the other time and the reason mm -hmm. for that is because i was so confused my mind was sitting there trying to piece together the information i guess the best way to describe it would be um at a loss for words yeah how much will you allow people to tell you lore wise just the base game or now that you completed the main game all of it or nothing because you want <laughs> to find out what the pearls say on your own look don't come at me with no spoilers. <laughs> Otherwise, you're getting bad. It's like, no. <laughs> like I said before, well, I don't, I don't know if like you were here. Well, you might not have been here like in the beginning, but a lot of people like to see me go through the story and understand and find out things on my own. When you guys like uh, give spoilers and stuff like that, that kind of subtracts from experiencing uh, whatever happens together. Yeah, the genuine. Yeah. You know? But, yeah. but I said to someone that spoilers that uh, don't like break any of the, the story to me or like completely change the game in any type of way, I'm kind of okay with as long as they don't like outright say it, you know? It's kind of yeah. like alluding to something. That's one comment th that um like what they do is they say stuff like, oh, maybe try like feeding the moose or something. And that made me think like, oh, what is it that I could probably feed the moose? Or, or like maybe when the moose isn't moving, try wiggling around and maybe that's probably better to do. That caused me to inside one video start moving around on the horns and eventually the moose would move and then accidentally like not realizing that um i had the egg mm -hmm. and stuff inside my hand i went to throw something i threw it and then it did that little call thing and then that helped me realize that oh these egg things can call the moose that is a spoiler that is technically a spoiler i guess quotes quotations that's a spoiler but mm -hmm. it's not really a spoiler because they didn't really like directly tell me what the eggs did you know yeah. when you guys tell me to experiment with something it's more than likely i'm going to experiment to experiment with it the next video or whenever i have time to or whenever i remember to what are your thoughts on the industrial complex revolution and its consequences what do you mean by revolution wait did something happen to industrial complex or do you mean like the area like kind of like using industrial complex to navigate the other regions uh, I feel like that was a really, really good idea because then that way you don't, there's no specific path. You didn't want to do something. You could always go back and you could change it. And I really, really, uh, I really, really like that aspect because there's no direct path. You know, you can always experiment with something. Next question from a different person at user dash no six R. What was your favorite region? And what region did you like the least? Favorite region? Oh yeah, yeah. We, we did kind of talk about this already, but favorite reasons probably um what i say uh five pebbles yeah five pebbles mm -hmm. is probably my favorite region and then least favorite is probably industrial comp well no not industrial complex shaded citadel yeah yeah all right this one is from ada the watcher how much do you think five pebbles made off only <laughs> <laughs> i thought he couldn't i thought he couldn't start his only fans if he were to start it or if he did like get a chance to i feel like he would probably make quite a few bucks because obviously he has some very very hard supporters inside of comments i know that to be factual but yeah i, I feel like he'd make at least a smooth five hundred thousand. let's get it <laughs> next we got leaf clover yeah. all right and he asked did you ever look up how to do something i did i looked up how to mod the game several times because uh you know this uh steam is kind of like new for me like kind of still 
Like I used it mm -hmm. to to play games. When you guys were talking about all the mods and stuff that you could do, that kind of encouraged me to look into it more. And I did end up looking that up. If we're talking about anything story-wise or movement-wise, no, I didn't. And that's because you guys wanted a genuine, authentic experience. So that's what I wanted to provide for you guys. All right, this is MC again. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's All right, let's get it. Let's, let's go. Go. MC, go. MC 11 Mick 7. Let's get All it, bro. Right. How did your birthday go? My birthday, uh, it was kind of like a generic day, to be honest. I spent most of my birthday helping my brother move in and stuff. The one thing that did make me really, really happy was I feel like this, the, my last uh, birthday was definitely, well, no, well, I guess it's my last birthday now. It was definitely the most happy birthdays i have ever received from from people <laughs> before so i want to thank you guys for that because every single time i saw it I, I i go down to the comments and read what you guys say and i see that and it make me smile so uh thank you guys have your friends who play with you know you beat the game if so how did they react to the ending mike didn't know so it's more than likely uh, my other friends didn't really know. <laughs> I finished that video and then after I finished watching it, then I'm gonna let you know what I think, bro. <laughs> Did you tell anyone else of your achievements? Oh, that I had beat the game? Yeah. Uh, no, sure I did not. I didn't tell anybody. I wanted it to be like a thing where um, they see it and be like, oh, shoot. He actually beat the game. How familiar, familiar are you with the regions of Rain World? Honestly, not really familiar at all. But I, no, no, no. I would say that I'm pretty familiar with the ones that I travel. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I know a lot of you guys said that there's probably like, uh, I think you guys said there's new regions and stuff when um you play as some of the other characters and i think that that's going to be really really interesting i would say what is it called drainage system is it called drainage system drainage system is another one of the ones that uh i probably don't know the best just because like um it was kind of like all over the place well you know what going back to going back to what's my worst region like the one that i i, I like the least Mm -hmm. Um, it's probably that one that was inside the lower left, the one that you guys said had to be DLC because they like you guys had never seen it before. I think it was called Pipelines. I, I think that one is probably the one that I like the least, but the reason why I didn't say it at first is because I saw a very, very long lizard, and that was really, really cool to see. And then I got to see the water ones at full display too, and that was really, really cool. But the reason why I don't like that region so much is because the centerpiece was, was there, and it was really easy to just get shocked, and I didn't really know what they we're all about just yet at what point in plan did you feel like you were disrespected by the game the most i feel like i was disrespected the most when those three vultures came and jumped me they knew for a fact they did not have to do the, all of that they acted like i was a messiah or something like that dominating the game or something like that they was like nah we gotta slow this dude down and then they sent three vultures after me like come on bro <laughs> but yeah i would say i was the most disrespected uh, at that one moment where three vultures came and pulled up and attacked me. Are you prepared to confront chaos and madness ahead on in the DLC? I guess so. I mean, like, there's, there's no reason for me to uh, act bashful or anything about it now because, you know, it's going to happen. So, yeah, it's probably best for me to just be ready now. When you create the Q&A video, do you plan on adding it into the Rain World playlist? Um, I don't know. To me, this is something that's, like, kind of, like, more uh, interaction thing with, I guess, me and you guys. So that's the reason why I'd rather come to a collective decision on something like that rather than you know it just being left up to just me i guess it is my video but you know i, I like like uh, having your guys's input too similar question do you plan on having a separate playlist for each campaign or putting it all in the same playlist i think we're gonna do a separate i'll label the the rain world uh playlist as survivor i have it like in parentheses or something like that i do rain world playthrough now i have survive survivor in parentheses 
uh, on the playlist part and then mm -hmm. i'll do then i'll probably start another playlist called rain world playthrough and then in parentheses whatever other slug cat i'm, I'm starting on you know uh, do you plan on using a different thumbnail to represent each different campaign to be completely honest when i um all right so when i start to make my thumbnails and stuff like that it's mm -hmm. kind of like a process of finding a moment inside the video that looks nice and appealing and then trying to place my own twist on it the reason why i didn't do too many of those well do any of those for this uh playthrough was because it felt like um that like people weren't really seeing the video really and i know there was like quite a few people that wanted to see me continue it so if people weren't seeing the video then mm -hmm. there was no reason for me to like try to like make it i guess like pop or anything like that it was probably best that i just stuck to something familiar that everybody would you know know exactly what they're looking for and and what's happening i didn't want it to be something that was kind of obscure like like i was trying to do anything special or anything like that because some of my titles are are usually all over the place like when i make a title so mm, two more questions from him he said have you ever felt like you got trolled by the comments oh my gosh i mean you guys were talking about the pebbles only fans and the blueberry farm thing i thought that, that was like a completely goofball theory like you guys are just being funny but then come to find out there was actually some <laughs> some uh reality to it that was like a, a major like kind of troll moment for me oh when i first heard you guys say talk about eating moons uh brain cells and stuff like that or, or neurons or whatever and you guys were talking about that i didn't believe you guys at first until um i thought about it for a while and then uh that made me feel like when i went to five pebbles and you guys said eat the little you know glowing rainbow things to like fill up my belly and stuff like that mm. and that kind of made me feel like i was being trolled too because um you know i kind of already associated like eating neurons with a bad thing inside of my mind evidently it it didn't really result in anything that was negative because we got to the end all the same so all right last question he said, does it feel like I'm too controlling of the comments? Um, <laughs> and then he said, should I tone down the amount of comments or should I keep it the same? And then he said, it's okay to be honest. Thank oh. you for reading. Bro, 100%. Stuff like this is like what I really, really enjoy seeing. When you guys comment a whole ton, like when you guys are really invested inside of the series, that makes me more invested inside of the series. When you guys have tons of questions to ask or, or like when something like strange happens inside of the series, because what it does is it kind of like validates like some of the stuff that like I'm doing. When I, um, when I get into like a series or something like that and i don't really like see like people like watching or anything like that i know for a fact that like you know that's how it's gonna be sometimes and some people aren't gonna want to see like some of the stuff that you know i post but mm -hmm. when you see other people like really enjoy your stuff it doesn't feel like i'm shouting into the void anymore so when you guys comment a lot it lets me know that oh you're really really interested or like i know like a lot of youtubers and stuff like talk about likes and stuff like that but likes kind of like validate that for me too that oh you guys like really are enjoying this you know uh controlling like there's to be honest there's there is no control in the comment section <laughs> for real <laughs> you guys can really just go inside there and joke around and uh i'd probably sit inside there and just joke with you i think you guys were doing it uh when you guys saw how how long <laughs> mc 11 mix 7's uh, comment was on the post too you guys are messing with him <laughs> but uh I, I like that all right what was the hardest episode oh like the hardest if we're talking about the hardest episode to create it has to be um one of the uh shaded citadel episodes one of those videos because i spent a lot of time sitting and and thinking when i was inside the shaded citadel because i was nervous about 
about it being so dark. And um, then also I would say Farmer Ray's too, because I, I sat and I thought for like a long time there because uh, I didn't really know what was going on at the time. And those were hard for me because you know, the video becomes longer. And then um, I'd be telling you guys, like I'm kind of a slow editor. I'm still kind of learning. Even though mm -hmm. I've created like tons of videos and Mike can attest to that. I have, even though my channel says like, I think like 780 something, I probably have more than that, that I just have privated for a variety of reasons. Uh, but uh, yeah, stuff like that kind of makes it uh, like harder to make the video. And then if we're talking about regions, Hardest region, I would say, was probably, to be honest, it was probably unfortunate development. I did do a lot of thinking there too. I remember specifically being worried about dying to the enemies quite a couple of times inside unfortunate development. Do you think that slug cat is tasty? I would say probably very tasty. Everything wants to eat a slug cat. If anything, I would say just like, uh, what is it called? Like. I think squid or is it tentacle or something like that that people eat uh they say it tastes just like chicken but it's like super squishy i would say look at probably tastes like chicken but it's super squishy it's like having like a really really squishy piece of chicken i would say that's probably what look at probably tastes like um, all right this is from Allah. if i mess up any of you guys names like that is completely on me and if mike messes up any of your names it is that is completely on me <laughs> <laughs> Let's get it. He said, I'm guessing that the ending was probably not what you expected, but what were you expecting, if anything? To be honest, I expected, like, after I saw the green eye, the green uh, seer guy, like the green little seer thing, I mm -hmm. thought that we were going to get to the, to the end and we with the trains and stuff like that the train cars after seeing those i thought that maybe i started thinking that maybe looks to the moon is based on nature and her structure and and um everything and as an irrator she was you know based on nature and five pebbles was based on you know computerized stuff because when i went and i explored him there was computerized stuff going on and then um i thought when we got to the little train depot looking thing with the crash train cars i thought we were going to get down there and after seeing that and then those red symbols and all of those things inside of subterranean i thought that for certain we were going to find another aerator down there and then he was going to do something that allowed me to accomplish whatever it was i was accomplishing now i didn't necessarily think about the fact that i would be ascending to a higher plane and i didn't really think about the fact that the thing that slug cat wanted to accomplish was you know ascending or or passing on or anything yeah. like that but i thought that whatever the goal was i was going to get there i was going to meet a, uh another iterator and they iterator and they were going to like help me do whatever it is that i would have needed to do and a lot of you guys said it was going to be difficult i thought that whatever the iterator uh wanted me to do when i got there was going to be a hard challenge i was going to navigate the region find things and then that would allow me to pass on but what it was was a uh, quite a bit of a shocker to me because like I don't think anybody could have predicted uh, what the ending was. Um, biggest aha moment or realization. Biggest aha yeah. moment or realization? Because I didn't really think about like how I could interact with any of the creatures or anything before. It was probably when I first met the demons and you guys were telling me that, oh, you should try giving the demons pearls. And I ended up uh, giving them one and um it seemed like they were like actually starting to take a liking to me because they started hanging around me more and i didn't necessarily know that whether or not they hated me or not because um like i said before i, I had only died to the to the demons twice but yeah all right next question would you play a slut cat dating game dating game so like i date the slut cat or i am the slut cat and i'm going on a date i guess if you guys want to see it i guess i'll play it 
I mean, this is up to you guys. If if you guys really genuinely want to see something like that, yeah, I guess I, I'll play it. And he said, do you have a favorite piece of music from the game? And if so, what? Like I said before, one of my favorites is definitely Stoneheads. Just because the doom, 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 doom. I was always bobbing my shoulders when that came on. Or uh, there's... There was another one that played inside Sky Islands that was really good. The music inside this game is just really, really good in general. But yeah, I was I would say Stoneheads is definitely one that um really captured my heart. So much so that I wanted to make a skit around it, but I never really like found the time to because uh the crew, like I said, our schedules are usually like all over the place. But yeah. yeah that, that was it. Well, uh guys that is going to do it for our q a for today michael thank you so much for joining me yeah man no uh, problem bro i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys inside of the next video uh only other thing that i want to mention is a poll will probably go up by the end of today uh where we will um be voting on the next look at and um if you want to go ahead and vote for the one that you want to see next i uh, don't mind whichever one you pick is fine with me i am fine with like completing the story in whatever fashion because by the end of the game we'll probably piece it all together uh well we'll piece it all we'll piece the entire story together together at the end so yeah but thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next episode. Like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed. And peace out.